recent events happening around the world. What happening? Given the recent events happening around the world, why is it that people do choose to create excessive violence thinking that it is a solution? That's what. Who decides how much is enough? Who decides what's excess? That's a question. I am not condoning violence. But if you look at it in terms of what's been happening, at least in the recorded history of humankind, you will see that twenty-first century, for the number of people that we are in terms of population, we are in least amount of violence. Even just look back on the twentieth century, the two great wars, unbelievable, senseless violence, limitlessly happening. Just in Europe alone, what happened between from 1930s to 1945, I think uh, they easily account for close to fifty million people, very organized. So, when it happens to us, when violence happens to us, even the smallest violence, if somebody cut your little finger, it's excessive, isn't it? A bomb blast happened in Hyderabad, only twenty people died day before yesterday. Lot of people heaving a sigh of relief, oh, good only twenty. In Bombay, two hundred died. But when it happens to us, even if they pull one hair out of your body, it's excessive, isn't it? So let's not discuss what is needed and what is excessive because nobody can come to it. We try to establish systems in the world where we could use violence verbally and never pull anybody's hair or head. This we call a democratic process, where it's a constant war of words. Don't be offended by the words, because if you take away the privilege of verbal war, then it'll translate into physical war. So the violence in the world is much less than ever before. For the tools of violence that we have, which is the outcome of our scientific and technological capabilities, if these tools are used Without the tongue lashing capability in the parliaments, in the debates and union, United Nations and everywhere, oh, you would destroy the world many times over. That is not happening because modern societies have learned to tongue lash each other. We can say nasty things about each other. These days we do not even have the courage to say it in front of them, so you blog. Sitting in your home, you can say the nastiest things possible. It doesn't matter, it's true, untrue, whether somebody's going to read it or not, it makes sense or it doesn't make sense, doesn't matter. Simply say something. This ability to articulate whatever emotion you have within you, we developed to a certain peak at one time, once again this generation is… seems to be losing it. 
Now, I am not saying you must abuse each other, I'm saying if there's violence in you, at least if you're articulate, you would have spoken, you would have written, you would have debated about it, you wouldn't have exploded a bomb, isn't it? You explode a bomb because you don't know how to make your point. Because they do not know how to make a verbal statement, they're trying to make a statement. Boom, boom, twenty people dead, two hundred people injured, a statement has been made, a violent statement has been made. After all, we killed only twenty. We could have set up a truck bomb instead of a car bomb or a bicycle bomb and killed two thousand. We killed only twenty, no? That is their argument. So we should at least educate them to be able to make a statement <laughs> strong enough verbally so that they don't have to make a bicycle bomb to make a statement. <laughs>